what's up? Welcome back to another episode of Funky Steve's Medina's, a Rogue Tech campaign. We're going to head down to the planet's surface today and just going to take out a lance of mechs. That's all we're going to do. We need to get some salvage and then we're jumping planet. We had to repair our assassin from the last time. We lost a pirate uh, flamer and we had to, I had to replace it with two machine guns. I didn't really have anything else to drop in there. Um, and we don't even have an arm actuator to put in there, an upper arm, so or a hand or anything. So we can't even buy one in the store because they just don't have any. So we're just going to drop to the planet with what we have and get this mission done. I'll see you all down there. It's time to get dirty. All right, so if I know this map, we got a main lance up here, and most likely we got reinforcements coming in from this area over here. So we're going to move up, engage from the right side, hopefully clean these guys up, and then take on the guys over here. That's the goal. Whether or not it happens or not, I don't know. All right, so currently we've been just... Uh, look, looks like a lot of light mechs. Currently we've been uh, fighting uh, on the edge of the Tortuga Dominion space. And I want to move out of here after this particular mission. I want to head over to uh, Davian space and start looting some of their stuff. This is just a, this um, fighting around here. We're just to train our crew up. Get us working together as a group. We are a new pirate um, lance after all. So uh, just getting our mechs up to snuff and to a position where we can take on harder targets. Yeah. Alright, we're going to reserve. See what they do. Definitely two light mechs. A lot of light mechs, looks like. Locust 1E. So we're looking for things like medium lasers and stuff like that. I'd love to be able to replace the machine guns and the um, pirate flamer in the armor of the assassin with a couple of medium lasers. They didn't even have those in the store. Time to earn our money. So we got five lights for sure. All right. Let's grind these guys down. I'm going to reserve. Uh -huh. I think I want to send Steve in first. Oh. That was probably a striker or a javelin or something. Maybe not, though. Going on turn turn two. Some kind of vehicle, probably. All right. Let's not get too, too close. Can we hit him from here? We can. It's harder, though. It's our chances to hit. Pretty crap. But we're going to turn here. Take this guy on right here. And we'll fire everything. See if we can get a quick kill on this guy. Oh, head hit. Nice. Yeah, so this guy doesn't have that. Well, he had full armor to start, so... Good to go. Let's move you in. Ah, lousy chances to hit. Any place better? 20, 28. Yeah, it's a little better from here. Gonna move in like this. Keep our front facing all of these guys. Fire on this target. Oh, yeah, three hits. I'll take it with such a low chance to uh, to actually hit. Look at that, 30 points left. All right, Prodigy, let's get you. That's actually pretty good. We could melee, but I don't think I want to get that close. Not yet, anyway. And let's open up straight on this guy, and hopefully we just get a CT hit him and it's all over. Nope. Not even a head hit with all those machine guns. So he's not moving yet. So we get to go before him. LRM5 is probably a locust. I'd like to go in and move, move in and do a hatchet job on this guy, but it's only got 28 left in the center. Is there a way I can move up and... Stay hidden enough from these guys? Probably not. Like if I move into like here, it's not even worth. Like I have to go right here. Let's try this. 
Still got four chevrons of evasion. Fire everything on this guy. Come on! Nope. No joy. So that's three mechs over there. Where is he going? I don't want him at my back here. So it looks like it's eight lights. Well, at least seven, maybe one more. As long as one of them is on your urban mech, I'm good. Is this guy gonna be our next target? No, don't know yet. Waiting on you, Commander. We could close. Can we get over here to see this guy? We can. Don't know what my chances to hit would be though. Let's move in like this. I really want to get rid of this guy at my back. Gonna fire everything on him. Ah. Oh, another head hit. Nice. Gonna crank out the machine guns from the uh, Jaeger mech next. Barely scratched. Wow, wow, wow. Look how low chance to hit those are. A little better. Let's move right in here. Let's fire everything. Uh, let's leave the... I know the large is like the best chance to hit, but I, I don't want to go too overheat on this guy. Come on, we just need one head hit. Nope. He is unsteady though. Prodigy should be able to come back and finish this up. Oh. Where is he going? He's getting out of here. Don't blame you, buddy. What are we looking at here? 25 in the center torso now. One in the arm, 12 in the other arm. Alright, let's get in here. Turn just enough to see this guy, like that. Get behind the rock here. Pretty nice. Pretty nice. And we'll leave the Pirate Flamer off. Does 20 damage though. Still though, we gotta save the heat here. I think I hit something good. Wow, this guy is like surviving like crazy here. I don't know how we're gonna kill the rest of these guys. If they stay at range like that, I'll be happy. We can bring them in one at a time and just smash them. Let's see what they do. If they decide to swarm me, it's going to be a different fight. Okay, Locust Pirate. Got to get rid of this guy. Those pirate machine guns can be devastating at close range. Look at that. 26 heat. You can fry an egg in here. Sure can. Another locust. I don't feel too bad now. Until he unloads with all the small lasers. Oh, he's got uh, short range missiles. Alright. That's alright. Jenner D. What does a D got? Oh, it's the laser boat. Alright. You got nothing, you hear me? Oh, he's got stuff. What can I do for you? The question is though, does he have the right stuff? And it's All unlikely. Alright, we're gonna turn off the medium lasers. We'll leave one on. We're gonna fire on this locust. Tell me what to shoot. Damn. What is this coming out of the assassin's head? It's like ECM or something. As long as they stay at range, I'm happy. Alright, Steve. Let's give them a target to shoot at. So let's multi-target. We're going to fire at this guy. And the pirate. And we're going to put the B... 
Hmm, SA. Such a low chance to hit on B. What about this guy? 13. 13. 9. Why that's lower, I have no idea. Let's put the tag on B. See if we can tag that pirate, fly, pirate guy. So that'll be it for him. Third pilot injury. Missed with the tag, no big deal. Let's grind up this locust. For five points damage. <laughs> oh my god. Thank god for damage reduction. Okay, Prodigy, let's be, let's be evil on this guy here. We got 72.5% chance to hit from there. 82 there. Let's go from this side. Location confirmed. Maybe we can take his arm off, lose one of those lasers. Or the uh, pirate machine guns. Oh, are you kidding me? And you miss with everything. Can't do that. Failed to connect. I saw that. At least we have some good evasion. We got six tokens up, so that's good. It's gonna play the back game on us. Nope, it's a side attack. Okay. Well, we can attack him from the rear then. Getting pretty hot in here, yeah, relax. Damn. Maybe we should make our way to the water. They're all coming after that guy. I thought they would have gone for the Jaeger mech. Damn. That's even worse. Yeah. Get some stability back. Just move over here. I know we're in the open. But we got no real choice here. I'm gonna fire all these. Okay, two hits. Nice. Mostly in the left side. So we're really showing the lack of having that extra mech. Yeah, we're gonna close. Let's give these guys something to worry about. Gonna point blank this guy with everything. So there's a knockdown. We should be able to take this guy out. Assassin's gonna go before him next turn. That'll be two down, then we got six left. I mean, we fought 10 mechs before. Of course, they were lower armor than what these guys are. But, I mean, we should be able to take them down. Alright, Prodigy. Um, do I want our sprint? That's the question. We want to get in the trees for sure. Turn our back this way. No, we got our stability back if we walk, so... I'm gonna fire everything. I'm gonna go for CT because I want this guy gone. Let's put the flamer up as well. Right arm. At least he's tagged. So his whole side's missing now. Once he's ten once he stands up, we're gonna sm what the hell was that? Panther with a light with a heavy rifle. Yep. He's got like no armor though. Well not no armor, but a lower armor, and there's two of them. God damn it. Yeah, the armor's pretty good on those guys. As long as they miss, I'm happy. So the blackjack will get to go before that uh, that locust that's on the ground, which is good. 
These guys are pulling back, which is extra good. Well, this guy's not. Okay, well, at least we're hitting the blackjack on the other side now. Okay, blackjack's going to retreat back here. Going to pull into here. Um, left side's pretty damaged. We're going to turn more to the right. On my way. And we're going to fire on this guy. And going to go CT. Going to fire with as much as we can. Right, Ooh, hit the five. Critical hit, Commander. He's not having a good day. Yeah, he's got five left in the CT, so that's a heavy machine gun. All right, so let's get the Jager mech. I'm not worried about the assassin where he is. I'm going to pull the Jager mech back to try and block the blackjack a little bit. I don't want the blackjack to get hit by these heavy rifles. So let's give him the Jager mech to shoot for. So Steve's going to pull back. Going to sprint back to... We can't get right in front of him. Why not? Here, probably? Something like that. And then we're going to multi-target. We're going to shoot for this guy. And the Jenner, I think. So we got to take some stuff off. Let's pull the large laser off. Because it's the most heat. We're going to put the mediums on Jenner. Tag on the Jenner. Pirate heavies, I think, will go in the Jenner. And we'll leave both heavies on this guy just to make sure we hit him. Let's fire. That should be it. What? Are you kidding me? You only had five left in the CT. Did we totally miss the CT? We totally missed the CT. Wow. Okay. All right, prodigy. Good to go. Nope, got to sprint it to there, unfortunately. Because we want to dual target these guys. Oh, we don't have it. Okay, well, leave the flamer off. Uh, let's leave the SRMs on. And the light machine guns do how much heat? Yeah. Let's go this route. That should probably be enough. There we go. Just wanted to make sure we had him. Okay, so he's gone. Hostile removed. Lack of big weapons are really killing us here. So we have a bonus AC5, I think, now. We want to drop it on this Jager mech. So those Panthers are trying to wheel around beside us. Actually, I'm kind of glad he's shooting me in the back a little bit. For two reasons. One, because he didn't move very far. But two, I got lots of armor in the back, so spreading out the uh, attacks is a good thing. And because he didn't move very far, we're going to be shooting him in the back. So we should be able to kill him. So let's get Possum around here. Uh, can we get... We can get right into here. So we're going to do that. And we're going to turn on the mediums and leave the ACs off and just fire four mediums. Nice. Three hits. Right torso gone. That's a critical hit. Yep. It is. This guy's overheating. I think that's probably a javelin. I think we got javelin. No, we don't have javelin parts. That's my other game. Alright, Steve. Funky Steve, let's get yourself over here. I know we're sprinting and probably shouldn't be, but we need to do this. So I'm going to leave the large off and fire everything else. Bang, you're dead. I want to find the heavy machine gun arrays. 
Okay, they got three mechs moving in now. Be another fight here yeah. in a second. So let's get... You into here. And we're going to fire on this guy's side. Flamer, let's get all... Well, let's leave these machine guns off then. Because we don't have the heat. But let's fire everything else. Actually, the machine guns have a better chance to hit than the SRMs, but the SRMs do more damage. Well, let's leave the arc welder off. So how much is that giving us? Not enough. Does 11 damage. This does 2 times 5. So let's go this route. Plus it gives him a chance for heat, so... Okay, at least he's tagged. Let's see where he goes. So these light rifle panthers, we want to get onto the light, to their right side, which means going to our left and shoot their arms off. Yeah, the assassins like are super evasive, so. I mean, heck, they could have just stood back. What are you doing? Why would you turn your back? Light damage. Holding firm. Commander. Okay, I know, I'm un I know I'm unstable over here. Affirmative. But a back shot like this is like, you can't pass it up. So let's go this route. Targeting enemy I should have just reserved and then let the, uh, the aggro mech move out of the way first, but that's fine. I want to move back a bit. So the first lance is almost done. Should be able to kill him this turn. This guy. Then we gotta worry about those panthers. Okay, Steve. Let's get back here. Finally get to walk, which is great. Gonna dump everything this guy into in straight into this guy's back here. Bang, you're dead. Okay, so. Then there's four. So, we want Prodigy to cool off. We want everyone to cool off. Locust M... So that was what I thought it was. We want everybody to cool off a little bit here. So we're going to reorient reorient ourselves. We're going to move Prodigy back over here. Because I want him to flank attack them. So he's, his heat's dropped way down. It's the blackjack that I really wanted to uh, lose some heat. So she's partially behind cover here. Makes it harder for them to hit. Of course, now that I said that, of course, Armor breach. I saw that, I saw that, Good to go. wow, both legs are like heavily damaged here, so let's get her here, behind the rock, we're going to brace, and we're going to move our sacrificial lamb here up front, so that guy's a medium. Either that or it's just deciding to go in the medium phase. Full okay, we can't monkey around with these guys. So these guys have full armor. However, looks like this guy does not have a lot. Chances to hit, pretty crappy. Um, let's leave the medium lasers off and fire everything else. Okay, at least the large laser hit. There goes the right torso. Enemy Critical damage. Do some punishment on that guy. See what they do. Making a break for it. Smart guy. What's up, boss? What's up is I want you in here. Attack one of these guys from the side. On the move. Full speed. Because we need these arms gone here. 80 points. I don't think we got enough to do 80 points on this guy. Let's fire everything on this guy's side. Let's get it started anyway. Yep. The more they fire the light rifles, the harder it is going to be for them to hit. Now they waited a turn, then they fired last turn. So... We'll see. Yeah, see they're missing. Which is good. I'm glad they can't see the uh, blackjack right now. Commander? 
We really got to move. We got to be in the trees when we fight too, so... Can hit with everything from here, so let's do that. Three chevrons of evasion, not bad. Gonna unload with everything. Ah, two hits. Not enough. That's a centurion. Really? You really had to be a centurion? Well, at least it's not the AC-20 Centurion. That's all I gotta say. Alright, Steve. Um, damn. Wasn't what I was expecting. So this guy doesn't move. Oh, he's moving. It's actually kind of better, as long as he misses with the, uh... Yeah. As long as he misses with the, uh, heavy rifle. That's the good stuff. That's the good stuff. Sprint. Into here. Got it. And we want to shoot on this guy's side. What do we have to leave off? Let's leave the light ones off because there's not much damage there. Nice! There goes the heavy rifle. So one weapon down. He's making a break for it. <laughs> I'll see you later, buddy. He's not having a good day, that guy. Waiting for orders. Can I target... Can't target that other mech. I'm gonna move here, though. I can. Barely target him. But this guy here, good chances to hit. We might be able to just kill him. That's all six hits. Right, torso, leg gone, he's gonna fall. Not enough to kill him though. Certainly devastatingly crippled. Um, uh, what do I wanna do now? That Centurion's gonna be coming around here in a second. Gonna move to here. Let's give him an opportunity to attack. What's this guy got here? Nine in the center. So let's multi-target and fire on him and this guy. Now let's decide what we're gonna do here. Let's leave the medium laser off. Let's leave the large off. Well, hmm, 50% chance on B. Let's shoot this on B. These things are only doing three damage. So let's leave these off. Two heavy machine guns to A. Yeah, let's do it this way. Okay, so we're able to kill that guy. Large laser hits, excellent, and the tag. Perfect. So that worked out. So this is the guy we really got to take on now. Yeah. Hey, knock it off. Oh, he's not going to knock it off. Neither is that guy. Okay, we need to do a hatchet job on that guy, though. Your heat is up high. That's the wrong arm, though. We can't get in on this guy, though. We can get a back shot on him. Let's do that. Let's try for a back shot on this guy. See what we can get. Maybe we get lucky and get a good shot on him. Okay, looks like that was a leg hit. Nice. Wrong guy. Where is he? Here he is. Not unstable, but good, uh, good solid leg hit, though. He's making his way back, but you look, think he's terrified, so he's not hitting very well. Panther moving. Okay. 
Need to shoot that panther. We stay back here. We can force that guy to uh, next turn to engage the Jagger mech. Let's fire on this guy. Okay, one hit. Critical hit. So I want that guy to engage the Jagger mech. Where's he going? Ooh, you tricky bugger, ya. Oh, he is engaging the Jagger mech. Good. Good thing I maxed out the armor on this thing. We'd be in a lot of trouble. Okay, here we go. Coming up into here. Gonna sprint it up. We really kind of have to. Uh, I'm gonna leave the large off and fire everything else into the side of this panther. Hoping to take the leg of the arm. And maybe everything in between. Nope. Lost two jump jets. Unstable. I think we're going to come around and attempt to hatch a job him, though. Assassin's got really good stealth, or really good uh, evasion at the point. At this point. Waiting for orders. So if we come around here, still really good chances to hit. Let's do that. Ugh, oh, where are we hitting, man? Oh, that was a head hit. That was a head hit. I just headbutted the guy. I did for 44 points of damage. Well, we're going to try for a headshot next. Good to go. Just going to stay back here. There's no point moving in. And we're going to fire whatever we can fire. Here we go. Starting on this guy. He's overheating too, so he might shut down this turn. If he keeps doing that, he might shut down. So we need to back up here. He's still holding on. Alright, two things we're going to do here. Going to move back. Got the sprint. Like this. Okay, we're going to Vigilance. Then we're going to do an offensive push on this guy's head. And fire everything. Just need one hit. Come on. Damn. I was kind of banking on that. Okay, Prodigy's coming around. Because I want to push this guy back a turn. I want my Jager mech to go again before him. So we're going to CT this guy, hopefully. Hit him with everything. Okay, is he still critical? Okay, let's get Possum over here. Got it. See if we can clean up this Locust. Leave one of the medium lasers off, fire everything else. Two hits, nice! Oh, nice, head hit too. Alright, so now that we got that guy pushed back... I'm gonna do this. I'm going to do this and this and this and this. Actually, let's leave the mediums on. we got a bad chance to hit with everything, so. Okay, the fall down should put him out, out cold. That should be enough for that guy. Bye-bye. Oh, he's only got one left! Oh no, I thought he had uh, 
Shoot. Oh, right. I was trying to take his head off. That was what it was. Man, I'm getting so far ahead of myself here. Oh, that was a ripoff. Oh. Good to go. I wanted to kill him. Oh, well. You can't always get what you want. Confirmed. But if you know the right broker, you might get what you need. How much has this guy got left in his head here? A fair bit. Um, let's try and plink him for a head hit. Fire everything. If we kill him, we kill him. Don't really care. Cockpit crick. There we go. Nice. That's a kill. There's some more salvage on the board. Guns are empty. That's okay. Just got a locust left. I think we just lost a couple of heat sinks in this match. Got a couple criticals on us too, but no big deal. Right, Commander. And we'll fire with. Can we shoot more? No, just fire this. Nice. That's it for him. There it is, folks. That's a kill. Let's go to the loot screen. Okay, so both the Blackjack and the Jaeger mech have taken some crits. So we're going to need to um, get those fixed in the bay. So we might not be able to pull off another one before the end of the month. Another mission, that is. Uh, I wonder... Heavy Rifle's got a recoil of four, though. I've always had very, very poor chance to hit with these. And especially on a Jager mech with no uh, upper arm joints is a bad idea, I think. Maybe we should just go for cash. There's nothing really here we want. Small cockpit, no. Lower arm. Oh, you know what? We need one of these. For the Assassin. I don't know if we'll be able to buy one. So let's grab one of those. And maybe the two cores. Take the cash. Hope we get some medium lasers. But I'm thinking cash is more important at this point because we're going to have to do some repairing. So let's confirm this. Alright, so we got a Centurion part. Two, three, four, five, six. Six Locust parts. Seven, we got one in the bay. We might have a Locust. Panther part, nice. Fluid gun, cool. Alright. All right, so it looks like we got a flea here somehow. Just like the locust, not a lot of protection. So I guess the flea and the locust count as the same part. So we've got an extra mech now. Cool, eighty-three thousand in repairs though, which kind of sucks. I've got the financial report. There's our financial report. We barely made it through. Ninety grand left. So let's first thing we're going to do is go to the store. We need to sell some junk here. Oh, they got medium lasers in the store now. Light rifle, PPZ, vehicle flamer. We could, oh, way too much. Primitive engine, cool. Let's get one of those things because, you know, definitely need one. Uh, so let's sell some stuff. I don't think we're ever going to use this boomstick thingy. Minus 10 AC damage, 3 recoil. It's kind of useless, so let's sell that. Um, what else we got here we can sell? Pirate LRM 10s. Minus one accuracy, variable damage. Uh, I don't know. They're 37,000 each, though. That's kind of why I was thinking about selling them. Picked up two 170 fusion cores. Let's sell both of these guys. That gives us some pretty good cash to work with here. And that's pretty much it. We don't really have much else. Um, yeah, we're pretty, pretty narrow on what we do have. Let's just hang on to everything we have. So let's go back. Let's have a look at our mechs. Let's get these guys repaired here too. So let's go to the mech base. See what kind of uh, flea we got here. So 20 tonner. Oh my god, it's got nothing left in it. Wonder how much it'll take to repair this thing. Oh, it's got two. Me it's got two medium laser and a small laser. That's cool. We do have a fusion core for it too. So let's repair all. And let's while it's being repaired. Uh. Where's that? Oh, the fusion core won't fit in this. It's too big. Oh, that's what it is. So let's strip everything off this then. So the repair is 37,000 in 10 days. So we're going to do that. Just so we have a fourth mech. I mean, it's not the best in the world. But we are pirates, so... I mean, we'll make do with what we have. Alright, so we got to wait for the rest of this stuff to come back here. 
So once again, let's manage our tasks to make sure that we're doing what we can to make sure that the right things get fixed at the right time. And let's do that. Actually, let's do the Blackjack first because it's got additional repairs we need to add on here. Both the Jägermech and the Blackjack took some damage internally, so we need to fix that stuff. Hey, throw possible party in the barracks. Okay, Blackjack. Here we go. So let's have a look at the mech bays. Blackjack, let's refit it. And why does it do that? Refit. Okay, cool. So let's do the repair. And we need to add a heat sink. We still got some. So let's do that. Yeah, we got the 175 fusion core, but we can't put it in the fleet because it's too big. Bet you that 170 would have been big enough. I shouldn't have sold it. Not much I can do about it now. Alright, let's confirm this. And continue along. Jägermax almost done. Okay, so let's have a look here. Jägermax, let's have a look at the refit here. Come on. Okay, so let's repair. Just a heavy pirate, not too bad. But what else? Do we, I don't think we picked up anything for this guy. We've got two medium lasers now, which we can add to the assassin. I mean, we could go. We've got, how much do we have here? we got the double heatsink core in this guy now, so... Um, two, three, six, seven, eight, thirteen, fourteen and a half, and fifteen, sixteen, seventeen tons available, plus one, two, three, four, five, six. So twenty-three tons available. So we could put... I mean, we're running, still running pretty hot. So we could put the AC-5 Plus in and a ton of ammo. Pull out the machine guns. Maybe put in two pirate heavies. Or just maybe two heavy machine guns on the one side. That will definitely lower our heat. Because these things are pretty hot. Right? 10 heat per. And they're not really giving me that punch that I want. These heavy machine guns aren't doing too bad. They got a shorter range. So let's try something here. Let's do this and this and this. We can pull out probably... Let's move the one heat sink up. Let's just put this... Well, we need to keep it spread out, I think. These guys are firing six each, right? So it's 12. Tracer ammo's got 150. So... 12 turns with just these two, so we can pull out a ton of ammo, put a half ton on this side. Then we can put the AC-5 in here. I know we're already over, but just hang on for a second. Um, and then AC-5 ammo. There's 15 rounds, I believe. Yep. Uh, and then, what's our heat sinking like now? It should be pretty 78, 78. So we need to consider then, do we keep the large? Or do we drop two more mediums in? I mean, now that we've got the AC-5 for distance, it's 50 damage. The large is 45. So if we pull the large, and let's say we drop... I know we were planning on putting mediums in the... Uh, in the uh, Assassin. But our heat sinking is over now, so we can pull some heat sinks. Right? One, two... Where are we at now? Still pretty good. We got we can put something. What else do we have here? Fluid gun. Will that work? It will work in this guy. It's two tons though, so it's not worth it. Um, I mean, we could just drop another machine gun in. If we have a, like a light machine gun or something, we don't, do we? These are what two tons. Let's see, we can go with a heavy and a pirate machine gun. Or maybe we just leave one of the heat sinks in for now. I know we're way, like, we'll remain completely cool, I think, even on hotter planets. Maybe we go this route for now. 
This isn't really the ultimate layout, but we've upgunned the large laser. We've added two more mediums and removed the two machine guns that are just plink plinking. So it's probably the best bet. So let's go with this. Confirm. I know it's eight days, but we got to do it. And the assassin, I don't think there's anything we can really do with this guy. I mean, if we pull all the machine guns out, like, we don't really have the laser power anymore. We've got large lasers. If we take the claws out, though, the claws are what? Why does it say minus 1.5? Minus, minus 1.5, plus 70. Well, I think we need to leave those in, though. Can't lose those. It's got the XL engine still. Like, this guy could die easy if he gets hit hard. So... We could put a fluid gun in this arm. What's the benefit of the fluid gun? I think it burns for a couple of turns, doesn't it? Generates 15 heat for two turns. Internal ammo that will explode for five damage for remaining ton has eight rounds. Heat damage for two turns stacks four times and extends duration each hit. So that's definitely worth it. These machine guns really though Uh, let's see here. Having the ammo is dangerous, and they're not really doing anything for us. So let's if we pull out. Let's pull out the lights. Let's pull out. Well, let's leave this flamer for now. Pull out the machine gun ammo, and let's say we add the fluid gun. We could put it in the torso. Harder to hit. Well, the upper arm's not giving us any benefit anyway. Oh wait, we've got our um. Right, we've got our lower armor which we can now add back in, which means that we'll give this guy a bonus. So we can do that. Uh, and what do we got here? We got one ton left, not a lot. Um, do we have any, what's our missiles like here? Just SRM-2s, eh? I mean, we could drop another SRM-2 in. Good possibility. What's our heat sinking though? We should be pretty darn good right now, right? Oh, we're way... Yeah, so let's do, uh, let's yank out some heat sinks. Let's add a couple of SRM-2s. I wish we had something else we could throw in here. I mean, we could go with the LRM-10, but then that would be mixing and matching, like, this guy's a really a close range boat. So, what are we at now? Yeah, 36, 39, that's actually pretty good. Considering the heat's being generated partially from this, which is 5 heat, so it'll be 36, 34. Tag doesn't generate it, neither does this one here. He doesn't, no. So it's like 36, 34, and that's where it point blank. If we're milling, then this thing will be in, but I think that's actually not bad. So we've got four SRM-2s and the Pirate Flamer for ranged weapons, which isn't much, but then once we close, at least we'll have these guys as well. So for now, I think we'll have to leave it like this. We've got one ton left. So we could throw another heat sink in, I guess. Two, four, six, eight. This is a hundred rounds, so that's like twelve turns, twelve and a half. Wish we had SRM um, accuracy ammo. I mean, we could put um, we could put a machine gun and a uh, half a ton of ammo in. That's heat six though. Yeah, let's just leave one of the heat sinks back in there. That's fine. That's fine. The heat's pretty pretty neutral now. So we should be pretty good, I think. Let's confirm this. It's five days. Right. I'll get it in the schedule. Alright. So let's manage our tasks a bit more. And the flea can go at the end. This can go up here. This can go up here. So we'll have our crew back in eight days. Financial report in 13. We'll be able to pull off another mission next time. Okay, well, we're going to end the episode here, guys. Hope you enjoyed this episode of Funky Steve's Medina's, my rogue tech campaign. If you haven't checked out... Whoa, wait a minute. What's this? Put Rommel to work for the company instead of herself. You bet. Suffers my two med medical points for 30 days. Well, not a big deal. Rommel gained the following tags. Criminal. Nice. 
Gain 25,000. Cool, that's our next jump cost. Well, we are pirates after all. So yeah, if you haven't checked out my other series, um, my Rogue Tech Cold Forge series or my Battletech Flashpoint series of the 900, please go check them out on my channel. Uh, but until next time, I'll see you all later.